my allergy symptoms have gotten worse and I actually couldn't sleep well last night. I, I could only sleep for just a couple hours and also um, it wasn't sound sleep. And so now I'm going to the urgent care clinic. This is Saturday, April 27th. And I finished my breakfast. Um, and going to urgent care. Look at how windy it is outside. Look at the tree. Look at the branches. How windy it is and I'm exhausted just going from you know just going from my apartment door to the car I'm exhausted yeah today's visit is very much needed and my temperature is above 100 and so I definitely need to see the doctor. It's a cloudy sky, very cloudy. And also um, there, were, there were tornadoes yesterday, really severe tornadoes. I couldn't read all the details of where and how serious I think there was tornado in Nebraska and then I think also in Iowa. I have been unwell for a few days. Mostly the symptoms intensify at nighttime before going to bed late in the evening, which is why uh, I also skipped doing YouTube live streams for a few days. And when I did the when I did do the live stream, people could see that I was having itchy nose, itchy eyes, and throat issues. So anyway, yesterday I didn't do any live stream, and I I couldn't sleep well throughout the night, throughout the morning. Um, I tried to fall asleep, and um, you know my sleep got interrupted because of throat issues because of nasal issues and so I decided this morning <clears throat> it's Saturday my only option is to go to urgent care and that's that's really what I'm doing so although I'm trying to look good I'm trying to look you know strong but I I'm very weak right now and my temperature is last I checked it was 100.8 so just under 101 degrees uh, Fahrenheit so keep me in your prayers my friends so I have arrived at the urgent care clinic I park my car heading towards the front door this is the front door of the clinic UW Health, urgent care. So now I'm sitting in the waiting room at the clinic. Waiting to be called so I can see the doctor. So I just left the clinic, the urgent care clinic after seeing my seeing a doctor here an urgent care doctor uh, he listened to all my concerns paid attention and uh, prescribed me some medication to uh, address the symptoms that I'm having and then also uh, advised that I get some rest so I'll be resting this weekend all right and you know I just I so very much appreciate the the doctors and the nurses and the medical professionals I have a high degree of appreciation uh, and respect for the medical professionals I remember how they 
took care of my mom when she had COVID in 2022. She was in the hospital and I was constantly in touch with the doctors and other medical professionals who, professionals who were helping her while she was hospitalized. Um, you know, the, the medical assistants and the, and the nurses, doctors, everyone. And I just have, from the bottom of my heart, I have a, I have a lot of respect, a lot of gratitude. Um, you know, when I when I talk about the medical professionals, the doctors and nurses, and here in Wisconsin, we're very fortunate to have a lot of great, great, great um, doctors and nurses. All right, my friends, I'm going to start the vehicle, and uh, next stop is the pharmacy. Picked up my prescription medication from Walgreens and now I'm going home.